Good evening, everyone. I'm Daniel Haber, director of the Mass General Cancer Center. I'd like to welcome you all to the eighth annual celebration of the 100. For those of you who have attended this event before, you were probably expecting to see Matt Damon up here. <laughs> Sorry. Unfortunately, Matt is filming a movie in China, so he sent me as his kind of understudy. But have no fear, I've been studying my lines all morning, so I should be all set. So tonight in this room, we're nearly 1,000 strong. And I want to extend a very special welcome to our 100 honorees, some of whom have traveled across the country and even around the world to join us tonight. We are here tonight to celebrate 100 incredible individuals and groups who are making a difference in the fight against cancer. They create hope and they inspire action. And it's our privilege to share some of their stories with you. We will also share our own story. Since its creation 27 years ago, the Mass General Cancer Center has become a world leader in cancer research and patient care. And we're incredibly proud of the people who make up our cancer center, including those who are being honored tonight among the 100. This is an amazing time in cancer research and treatment. The rapid pace of discovery is just incredible. A patient who might be out of treatment options one day may be eligible for a phase one clinical trial of a new targeted therapy the next. In the past years, I've spoken to you about genetically targeted therapies that have revolutionized the treatment of lung cancer, melanoma, and breast cancer, many of which were pioneered here at Mass General. This year, the biggest breakthroughs have been in the field of immune therapies. That's marshalling the body's own immune system to fight cancer, with major successes in melanoma, in lung cancer, and in lymphomas. And tonight, I'm delighted to announce that we're creating a new cancer immunotherapy program at Mass General. It will be led by Dr. Nirha Cohen, who has recently joined our team from the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. And I particularly want to welcome Dr. Marcella Maus, who's with us here tonight. Marcella, if you can wave, stand up and wave. Marcella is joining the MGH faculty from the University of Pennsylvania, where she's been a leader in the field of engineering T cells to attack cancer cells in lymphomas, brain tumors, multiple myeloma, and many other cancers. We're also making major strides in minimally invasive surgery, which can improve patient outcomes and quality of life. Over the past year, Dr. Christina Ferroni and Dr. Chris Morse have made great advances in liver cancer and lung cancer. And led by Dr. Keith Lillamo, our highly specialized surgeons are among this year's honorees. They've been nominated by their patients and their colleagues for their exceptional surgical skill and compassionate care. Drs. Mike Lanuti, John Mullen, Whit Groudon, Fred Barker, and Suzanne Coopy. And this year, our Department of Radiation Oncology, led by the able Dr. Jay Leffler, broke ground on a second proton machine, which will be fully operational in 2017. Mass General is a world leader and a major referral center for highly focused proton beam therapy, which is critical for certain types of pediatric and brain tumors. Among the 100 this year, we're really pleased to honor the Mass General proton engineering staff for their skill and dedication in operating and maintaining this exceptional technology. <laughs> and also among this year's honorees are lab researchers who have developed ways to culture tumor cells taken from biopsies so they can be tested for sensitivity against nearly 100 drugs and drug combinations. One day, we'll be able to figure out the best treatment for each individual patient's cancer in the lab 
so it can be most effective when the patient is actually treated with these therapies. You'll hear more about this research team from Dr. Jeff Engelman's lab later in the program. Our Tremere Center for Targeted Therapies continues to lead the way in first in human clinical trials. These are first in human clinical trials of novel agents, and we're working to apply these earlier and earlier in the course of disease when they can be even more effective. Our major goal is to develop new ways to diagnose invasive cancers early before they spread and at a time when they can be cured by surgery, by radiation, by targeted therapies, and by immunotherapy. We're making progress in the fight against cancer, but we certainly can't do it alone. And that's what tonight is really all about. Tonight's 100 honorees join those of the past seven years. We now have 800 truly exceptional and inspiring caregivers, researchers, philanthropists, advocates, and volunteers from 29 states and seven countries. Our honorees represent the very best in us, and they embody the commitment and the collaboration that's needed to beat this disease. Now, before I introduce our guest speaker, I'd like to acknowledge a few of the honorees we're celebrating tonight. Dr. Judy Salerno, President and CEO of Susan G. Komen for the Cure, and Anne Morris, CEO of Komen, Massachusetts and Connecticut, are both here with us tonight. We're really pleased to honor Susan G. Komen, a worldwide movement that's invested more than $2.6 billion in funding for research, community outreach, advocacy, and programs to fight breast cancer, including some of the work being done here at Mass General. Dr. Bob Langer, the David H. Koch Professor, Institute Professor at MIT, is with us here tonight. Dr. Langer has pioneered systems for the delivery of anti-cancer drugs, including engineering materials for slow, sustained release of medications. His many breakthroughs have prolonged lives and eased suffering for millions of people. And finally, we honor Susan Ede, who sadly cannot be with us tonight, but is represented by her sister, her oncologists, and a former colleague from DirecTV. Throughout her long battle with breast cancer, Susan never accepted thanks or praise for her generous philanthropic support. When Susan passed away last November, she selflessly donated cancer cells from her body for scientific study so that one day doctors could learn how to better treat women with breast cancer in the future. We're going to meet many more honorees tonight and hear many of these amazing stories of everyday people doing amazing things to change how we fight cancer. Thank you all again for joining us to celebrate the 8th annual The 100. <laughs>